Hi guys, this is your Boat Path of Gaming right here right now, bringing you another coaching session, this time with Marcus. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much. You're most welcome. So you sent me a bad TFT game, that's good. You didn't you didn't mention any other details, so we'll just... Yeah, I'm not sure of the details either right now. Yeah, uh, that, that's even better. That's even better. And uh, wait, uh, I guess you're this guy, right? Yeah, exactly. So this well, is... I've been platinum like i've been jumping from platinum 2 to platinum 1 all the time nearly managed to get diamond 4 okay but then at 98 lp i got a losing streak and went straight back to i think zero oh cool um and i think that i have a good grasp of the meta yeah but i tend to have huge problems with pivoting Okay, okay. So when, when, when I'm doing well and I get exactly the comp I want from the from the very beginning on and I know how to play the comp, I usually do really good, like at least top four, most of the time top two. Okay. But if something does not work the way I want it to, then often I just run out of ideas and and basically lose the game by not reacting at all because I'm, I, I just really don't know what to do. Yeah, okay, and yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. I mean, I'm almost in, in Platinum 1 as well. Uh, I'm dropping down quite quite hard on, on my Smurf account. Just trying to force comps, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. This meta is fun. But obviously, yeah. when, I, when I'm tryharding, the, the, whole, the whole concept is just level aggressively and uh, stay healthy. Because everyone is hyper-rolling, you, 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 you either need to roll or level. And I prefer yeah. roll. I prefer leveling over rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is the best item here, and what is the best unit with the item here? Um, I think I got the redemption here. Um, the reason for this is because I think, like, in my opinion, either redemption or CZ rot are huge early game items. Okay. And yeah. I'm I'm seeing the CZ rot being contested already. So I'm going for the redemption. You gotta take what you uh, want. I don't mind if something is contested. I, I go for it anyway. But yeah. 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 All right. But I usually like I do that sometimes when I'm really like I really really need something. For example, like dwarfs in the in the Xaya comp or something like that. Yeah. But in this case, I don't think there's like a super strong item unit combination on here. Okay. So I will most likely sell the unit anyways. Yeah. And I think that Redemption is really good early game, since it provides so much HP, um, which could get me on a winning streak. Sure. And Zero all, all the, the other same. items yeah. I feel, yeah, Caesar would do the same, but all the other items I feel like are okay-ish, but not as good. I'm, like, I could go the, the Chalice, but the Chalice would probably force me into going something like Mana Print Persona, which I don't want to commit to, because if I don't get a single tier afterwards, I'm pretty fucked. Okay, okay, I agree. I, I still think the Chalice is, is probably the best item here. Alright. Just because it opens up the possibility of Mana Printing, right? Like, the Chalice can be used, even if you don't find any more Chalices, you can still use it, like, it's kind of like a. It's almost like like Seraphs now, like it's similar to Seraphs the way it functions. Like if you yeah. have it on on Lucian or something, it's still good enough. Like I don't think All it's right. a, if, I don't think it's a dead item in in non printer comps. Or Kaisa, for example, can kind of use it, or or Ziggs is good with it. And All a right. really powerful item, but it's really good on just a few units, yeah. uh, which you haven't mentioned yet, and I think is underrated right now. Any idea what I'm talking about? Ludens? Definitely. Sure. If you have it on, on Ziggs or, or Lucian, like Lucian with Ludens, you win the early game as well. Alright. Like, it's, it's really powerful. Like, sometimes I make it, if I get it, then I definitely use it. Sometimes I make it, and it, it does help. It does help. Just so you would rate Ludens over over uh, Caesarot and Redemption? Um, okay, the way I would do it is I would try to go for the Chalice. If not the Chalice, then, then Ludens. All right. Okay. And then uh, maybe yeah, ZZ is underrated. So then probably ZZ or Zeke's Redemption. Uh, it depends. Like Redemption is good, but you really need to position extremely well. Because like if the unit doesn't die, 
or dies last, yeah. it's useless. Yeah. Yeah. If the unit yeah, yeah. if the unit gets focused right away at the start, it's useless. So it's like high risk, high reward item. All right. Right. Makes sense. But let's see. Let's see how you how you utilize it. Okay, great. So I guess uh, we're just going to uh, where's the video? We're going to fast, not faster, because okay, now it's fine. Yeah, now it's fine. It's playback and it's speed and it's fast. Okay, faster, fast. Yeah, this is fine. So can we skip? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Okay. No idea what I'm doing next, so yeah, I'm getting the pair. Yeah, why not? And so generally, what I do is I tend to try to position my units, which I might use next or in in, in the near future on the right side of a board. This is just something like the way I handle it. That's but exactly right. Prob probably something very strong right now is two vanguards with Mord and and Leona. Yeah, correct. But also, I think that Charmon at level 2, just like generally level 2 units are, yeah. are strong. I'm just checking how much time you had here. It's close. Uh, actually, no, it's not close. You could have bought the Fiora. Like, sell these or sell that for the Fiora. Sure, yeah. Yeah, because you already, you already have one, one Leona. Uh, this this is like it doesn't matter right now what you're doing. Yeah. Because it's like just PVR and you're just getting items. Okay. Yeah, good. Wait. So wait. generally, what I what wait, I do wait, wait, early wait. on, unless I get something which is like a key component, for example, like a fizz or something, or an early, I try to sell level three like three cost units. I will sell 99% of the time unless I'm I already know what I'm going for. I'm going to hard first. Yeah. And I need it. And two cost, two cost units, also depending on the context, but since I'm... Sh I'm not sure if I'm playing mech this game, I don't think Sodekaisis is useless. You have two Kha'Zixes right there. Exactly, yeah. So right here... Um, you could probably sell the Caitlyn by the Kha'Zixes. Alright. Yeah, that's true, that's true. You already have Vanguard. Vanguard Infiltrator is actually decent. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay, we're 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 putting it to like fast speed, normal but, speed, but yeah, just finer speed. Yeah. See, look at that. Yeah. So I think here, I'm. The way I think I thought when I okay, played this game yeah. is that I was struggling whether the Vanguard synergy. Is better than than the level two J four. The level then, up, the level up was correct. Yeah, exactly. And then I saw the poppy, got a got a level up, and basically put the poppy in just to get my think, a little bit thicker. You think poppy is stronger than Mort? Um, no, I don't think at level one. I don't think so. so but I think that I can get the poppy to level two faster. Okay, so I mean. I would. I will tell you what's optimal. I, I'm not telling you what I would do because I would probably mess this up as well. But the optimal play here is sell the Caitlyn and put in the Mort. Okay. And then you win, and then you buy the Poppy, because that's. I mean, what I usually do is like I buy, I sell, and then I'm like, oh shit, I win anyway. So I, I think you. Yeah. I think you win this anyway, and then it's like, oh, you could have had Mort and you could have had Poppy. Yeah. Yeah, you win this anyway, easily. And you could have had uh Mort yes. and Poppy. Yeah. That yeah, way if sense. you if you two star the Poppy, great. If you don't two star the Poppy you have Mort. Yeah. I'm okay. getting the Caitlyn now because it's a pair. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Now like now it makes sense. See and there's a Mort, yeah. Yeah, so that was more luck than me um, making a, a decision but yeah. Um This is not about luck. How many poppies and how many mods are being played right now? I don't know. Exactly. You don't know. Yeah. You should know. Like. Yeah. I mean, uh, if I'm playing, if I'm playing uh, Candyland, I go around and I and I count poppies and uh, TFs. 
if I'm not playing Candyland, I just go around just just to see what's up. Like if if I if you would go around and see like three people playing Candyland, Poppy's completely useless. Because you know that like it's going to be very hard to star on her. You can keep her on your bench just to grief them, but yeah. otherwise, otherwise you're not going to two star her probably. Yeah. So do you put in the mort here? What you saw the mort? You just told me mort is stronger. You're, like, what you're doing does not show me that mort is stronger. I, I should have put in mort instead of poppy, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's stronger. Yeah. Uh, what composition are you trying to build here? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, you, you see the redemption? How how good redemption is? Yeah, it's basically doing nothing. Yeah. Um, so you don't know what you're you don't know what you're going yet. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about making money? Yeah, I should I should probably, but at this point I have four possible pairs. So I rather keep them right until carousel hits and see if any pairs jump up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. Like sometimes I keep pairs, often I don't keep pairs. It's you should probably keep the pairs. Honestly, keeping the pairs is better. But I think you're keeping too many pairs, maybe. But like, we'll see. Because right. I mean, at the end of the day, you have gold. And you want you'd have gold, and you'd use the gold to reroll so that you get better units. So like keeping units is, is okay. Yeah. So, so I got one pair. Yeah. And at this point, I'm not sure which unit is stronger, because I'm not getting any synergies anyway. So. So there's another Mort. I think that's like the third Mort. You could have more too, even though you think Poppy's easy to get. You could have had more too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Zaya is definitely stronger than uh, Kazix. Six. Yeah. yeah. But I, I feel like it depends a lot on positioning because if Kazix manages to get an isolated unit, he's really, really, really strong. Yeah. And also Zaya, I feel like I don't know, but. Sometimes in, in the early game when, when many people play Graves, I feel like Saya actually is really weak because she gets like blinded for four okay. seconds. Okay. So this is this right. is case by case. Move the poppy like a bit farther back so like nothing can happen to Zaya. Put the Zaya right here and put a trap call on Zaya. Yeah. But I don't have a yeah, well I do have trap call, yeah, actually. Yeah, okay. And trap call is a relatively good item. Yeah. And you, you win, I think you win until until the end of this, like, until Krugs, if you do that. Because you, right. already, you already have the Jarvan, and you have the Zaya, and yeah, so you're relatively, like, close to the Zaya Shredder comp. Or not, like, you're, you're getting there. Also, oh, if, I, if I may, if I may give you another tip, put the, the Redemption on the Jarvan, because he's not a Vanguard. Vanguards are the yeah. hardest to kill. I made this mistake before as well. I uh, I put a redemption, I think, on like a or a ZZ rod. I put a ZZ rod on like a, a what was it? Uh, Malphite three. So like everything died, and then Malphite three died, and then I had like the ZZ thing. So you kind of want the ZZ or redemption on a unit that's more likely to die. If that makes yeah. sense. Because yeah. I, I think like your units might get taken out. And Leona will survive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now the Leona's gonna die. Nope, Leona Leona's still not dead. Okay now okay now it helped. Now it helped. Don't help me win the fight. But you didn't win the fight. At least you're selling. At least you're selling, that's good. Yeah, good. So what do you need here? I don't know. Yeah, you got to know. You have yeah. you have 3 rounds to decide. You have 3 rounds to decide. You got to know going in. You got to have sure what I'm going to get actually. You need to know like so you have a, a glove and a belt. Yep. 
So you can make a last whisper. You have a, you still have desire. You can make a last whisper, for example. Or you can make a Morellos or a Red Buff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably Red Buff or Last Whisper. Some yeah. So it's like it's either bow or uh, rod. Or rod or maybe armor. Or just yeah. just a sword because sword is good. Yeah. Right? So I agree. Uh, so if you have like three like three or four things, okay, so bow, rod, sword. You go in. And as soon as it's your turn, you're grabbing that bow on on uh, Jace. Yeah, I, I think, think I do. You, so. you get him anyway, but it's like you need to be like ready, and you're scouting. Perfect. This is exactly what you should do after after you grab the item you scout. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah but um, honestly, I feel like um, I, I I do scout, especially in carousels. But at this stage, I th feel like oftentimes it's just. A bit too early because m most of the people just play their strongest boards unless they're like really unlucky and want to hard force uh, reroll comps. So I feel like scouting here doesn't give me the the insights that I. Oh, just just like knowing it's it's good like to see what units are being played and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that of course yes. And again, I think I think the Zaya, especially with the last whisper, would, would be so much stronger. Why did you get the why, why did you get the bow? To, to make a last whisper. So why haven't you made the last sure. whisper? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I have the habit of being really hesitant when putting on items because once you have a completed item, you're basically committing okay. to something. Okay. And I think like maybe I just I don't know. I get a lot of sorcerers right now, and then the last whisper is okay, kind of useless. Whatever. So this is a, like fear. Of, of, of having committed something which then renders useless. Okay, I agree. Because it's still so early, but I'm not sure if, if I shouldn't just like hard commit. So anyway. why why don't you at least give Poppy the belt and the bow yeah. to Jarvan or to Leona? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I, I couldn't tell you. you can, like, I, I do that as well. Like, I just, if I don't want to make items, at least I give the components to units which I think I will sell. Yeah. Sometimes I don't I don't sell the units and it bites me in the, I I don't want to sell the units it bites me in the ass sometimes I have to do it that I have to sell the unit even if I don't want to but look how close this is oh yeah look how close that was maybe if you had if you had extra health or something yeah. or ZZ spawn if you had a ZZ spawn yeah obviously ZZ R is not a great great thing to go for now there's another Kaisa. So the Jarvan is cool, but I think Kaisa is better right now. As an individual unit. As a synergy unit for your Kazakhs. Yeah, right, that makes sense. Leona staying alive. That was that was nice. That was nice. What do you want to happen now, by the way? What do you mean? Do you want to win or do you want to lose? Ideally, I want to lose. Yeah. So I can keep this keep the streak. You're lucky that you lost. It's it's happened to me. Okay, nice. It's happened to me a lot that uh, I would like in one of the videos I, I shot earlier today. It it really pissed me off that I didn't lose. And going back to it, I realized like I could have I could have made sure that I lose. So like here, you didn't do your best to make sure that you lose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. How do you make sure you lose? By positioning like an absolute retard. Um. Okay. Or just putting in random units. Putting in random units. But how do you make sure you lose? What well, What's like one thing you're you're not saying? I don't know. You scout the weakest I'm... opponents you haven't played yet, and you make sure you lose to them. Alright, okay. Yeah, so you would scout you would scout this guy, this guy, this guy, or like I don't know who you've played, but you can check who you've played and you scout the, the bottom guys. By the way, I cannot see your cursor when you're doing something. You can't see my why. cursor. Nope. Okay. I just noticed when you said this guy, this guy, and okay, I, sorry. I, I figured you, you yeah, might yeah, yeah. cursor or So hover. so you scout you scout the bottom bottom guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Know, you scout yeah. the bottom guys, the ones you haven't played. 
and uh, yeah, make sure you lose to them. Basically, yeah. it's the same thing as when you're win streaking, right? Typically, if you want to keep win streaking, you scout the top guys and you make sure you can beat them. Yeah. Yeah. Makes so sense. it's like yeah, scout the bottom guys, make sure you lose to them. Yeah, I don't know why you have why you still have the Zaya. You should be you either should be playing her or just ditching her like. Sell for eco, yeah. yeah. Or That's something I'm noticing thing. now as well. I honestly I can't tell you. Or Kaisa, if Kaisa was in, you could have sold Jarvan and Graves, for example, and be at thirty as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually what I see with like people in the in in lower tiers that they don't get enough money. Like you could just be making more money. Okay. So that was, yeah. What goes well with Zaya? Anything Blade Master Celestia. Cassidin. Cassidin. You have Cassidin right there. But I think at this point I'm I'm trying to to get Brawl of Raster. Wow, I'm based based sure. on what? Based on yeah, I don't know. I just feel confident playing the comp. Okay. And based on, on, on Graves, Malphite, Ezreal, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Wow, that's raw. Huh. Okay, you see this spatula? Yeah. So what do you... What do you scout for now that you have a spatula? What's like going... The first thought in your mind right now. What 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 should the first first thought be? Well, if I'm thinking like I'm trying to to be in the position where I play this game right now. If I'm thinking of going blaster brawler, I think the best spatula items is either force of nature or the rebel spatula. Okay, um, you're thinking wrong. Like All right. you, they're like right next to each other. These two items are right next to each other. You already have a Kazakh, and you have a Kaisa. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You scout for mech. If one person is going for mech, I would still force it. If two people are going for mech, I would not. But right. with Demolitionist Kaisa, that's a top four guaranteed. All right. I honestly, like I know uh, mech infiltrator is considered a really strong comp, but in in the past when I've played it. I, I just get demolished early game to the point where I barely get a fizz and when I have to fizz I'm too weak to like I win but I lose an unlucky one or two rounds and yeah. I'm out of the game. But with with Kaisa you will be out of the game a lot later with demolition Kaisa, that's what I'm saying. Alright. Because she'll she'll just stun everything. Like two star yeah. Kaisa, I think it's three six nine, so it she'll hit up to six units or like with her, with she'll have six of the flying things, so she'll hit like two or three units, and typically it's carries in the back. And at at this level, even my level, I, I mess up so many times. People don't position against infiltrators correctly. Yeah. So that's why that's infiltrators true. are so good because people don't like the way you have to play play against infiltrators, which I I know, but it's like sometimes with the game I don't have time to figure it out. You need like two units to fight with the mech. And then you want like your tanks kind of in the back, and you want your carries like to the side. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But you gotta reposition between fights. Like if it's like three, three people left, you gotta figure out. Okay, I should be playing the the infantry guy now, so I gotta reposition for him. Yeah. So right now it's like demolitionist, demolitionist Kaisa. That's a I All think right. really good yeah, option. Yeah, I, I can I can tell you right now that I'm probably not going good. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm not going. Good. But uh, I would I would I would just scout for. Huh. I think we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I think you're overvaluing overvaluing uh, three like uh, two star units. All right. First of all, if you put in if you put in the Blitz and Malphite, 
you can make six gold and you get brawler blaster and chrono so you're losing anyway if you lose again it's cool but you'll get 50. that makes sense sell so, sell so these two put in put in brawler blaster hmm? i think the, the chrono the chrono and the and the brawler is is relatively good chrono and brawler have both get, gotten buffed at two so it's good as for items, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to them. Hopefully you'll end up using them. I still think Last Whisper's fine. Last Whisper on Jinx is, is a decent item. Yeah. And you already have Red Buff. Exactly, right? yeah. So, why haven't you made Red Buff? I, I think, think I will right now. I'm okay, sure. perfect, perfect. Red Buff for Ezreal is, is, is ideal. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not sure if I will, will. Yeah. but I, 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 I should be. be. I, I, I know that I should be. be. Ezreal is, is a good red buff carrier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean I'd, I'd prefer, prefer Lucian. Lucian. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't. Did. Right. But you sell Lucian. Yeah, yeah, true. So, you might as well put on the Ezreal now. So you lose anyway? Yeah. But you could have lost with 50 gold. Yeah. Yeah. And... Now, buy the Yasuo and buy the Fiora. It doesn't cost you anything, but it gives you more options. Yeah. Like at the beginning, you, you held on to a lot of units, and it hurt your interest. Now you can buy the Yasuo. Maybe like you can go for three Rebels. Actually, three Rebels is is, is not too bad. Like uh, four Brawler, three Rebel. That's also a relatively cool composition. Especially since you can do it at seven. If you get the Cho'Gath and the Jinx, and uh, one more Rebel, if I'm doing the math right, you have two Blaster, four Brawler, three Rebel. Yeah. You have four, four Brawlers, one of them is a, is a Malphite, two Blasters, one of them is Jinx, and one more Rebel. That's seven units. That's really strong at seven. We'll see how, how crazy this lobby gets, but right now the games go so crazy because it's like always oh, three star Poppy, three star Zaya. Okay. If you had gotten the Fiora, there's an Irelia, and uh, you would have a Yasuo. So that's three Blade Master. Three Blade Master, three Cyber. Yep. So it's like just like. It's really easy. I know it's really easy to tell you this right now. Maybe I wouldn't do it myself but i try to keep these things in mind when i play i try to do it yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that makes sense because again three blade master three cyber is really strong right now and it doesn't matter what items you have it's like i really has the last whisper and whatever you leave uh yeah maybe okay you'd have yeah you could leave you could leave the two blasters for example so you'd still have three cyber and two blaster, or you would put in the Yasuo, whatever. You could level up in the Yasuo or something like that, but you would definitely have um, a stronger board. And they could use the Last Whisper and the Red Buff anyway. Uh, what's another thing you should buy right now, actually? Not thinking about pass rounds right now. What, what I should buy right now? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Like, uh, I just I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Maybe you'll buy it. Maybe the Chase? Hundred percent. Jace over Jarvan, you have Vanguard and Space Pirates. That makes sense, yeah. But but at this point, I would like I get why I would buy the Chase. But what the fuck was that? I don't know. You rolled twice. Why? Yeah, I don't know either. Well hoping for illusion maybe? I'm not sure. But but Getting, getting the chase, yeah, no, no, it makes sense. But chase level 1 feels like really weak to me compared to J4 level 2. Uh, you're losing anyway, you might as well make a bit of gold. Yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah. Please never roll like this. You, there was no need to roll, you, you can just go to 6. Right. And also, if like, you need to know if you, like, okay, 
if you decide that you have to row on 3-2, row at the beginning. Because rowing at the end just, there's your illusion. Can you do anything with illusion right now? But right I cannot use it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah in, in, in one second, like, it just, I mean, I decide, like, I, I make mistakes too. I realize, I, I just watched some of my games, the ones I'm uploading now, and I roll down too slowly, I don't get the right units, I don't use Nico's help quickly enough, and I just die because I'm too slow. But, like, here, I would not, I would, there's, like, no reason to roll here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. And even, okay, and even if you do roll, then do it at the start, yeah. So let's see, the Jarvan uses his ultimate and does basically nothing. So the Jace could have maybe slammed down and maybe luckily got you one gold. Yeah. Right? Still no red buff, still no last whisper, still no item usage. If you're if you want a lost lose streak, go ahead, but I've done it as well a lot. I've tried lost streaking and it just it just too risky. Yeah, I'm not I'm not lost streaking because I want to at this point. But you're not using your items. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. So that to me says lost streaking on purpose, kind of. Oh god, you, you still love, you still love the Jarvan, don't you? Uh, are you okay? So, is Lucian better than Ezreal? Is it an individual unit? I'm not sure. I think so. Okay. Is Chrono better than No Chrono? Yes. So, given that, do you think not having Chrono and having a little bit stronger unit or Chrono for the whole team is is? Yeah, worse? that's true. Chrono yeah. for the whole team is better, and you're, you're like, you don't even want Lucian. He's not even important because you don't need him in Brawl Blast. You don't want him, so like rolling for him and putting him in so that you have to sell him later. It's like, yeah. Okay, wait. Um, what uh, what could be stronger here? You could definitely have Chrono here. Ezreal or Red Buff. As or maybe, maybe I don't, I'm, I'm not, not sure if I would put Lucian over Graves, probably not. No, 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 Ezra went buff, and also, also if you didn't have, yeah, also you could be at level 6 right now. Which would make you just generally stronger, level 6, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you could have something else in, and, and most importantly, you could get Shogun or, or James. James. Yeah. I guess now you realize and you level up, or relatively soon. Yeah, I will probably level up. <laughs> when, did I do, when did I attempt to make the last whisper? Wait, sorry. When did I tell you to make the last whisper? Very early on. Yeah, like 2-1. Yeah. So you make it anyway, and you make it at 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the difference is that, n n like, in my thought process, now I'm committing to Brawler Blaster, and now I know that Last Whisper is a decent item for the comp. So, at 2-2, two, two, I wasn't sure if if this was really what I would go for. Okay, Last Whisper is not the perfect item, you're right. It's not the perfect item, but it's it can be used in, like, uh, Cybers, Blasters, Shredder. Right? That's three compositions. It's it's quite a versatile item. It's not like uh, an item you just can't use in, in your composition. Right? Marcus? Yeah? Yeah. Sorry? Uh, that it last whisper is not like uh, an item that cannot be used in multiple compositions. Yeah, yeah I, I, I heard yeah. you. I, I thought I answered, but yeah. maybe the connection was... Yeah down or something i'm sorry no, no. i know i know yeah so it's like if it's an item that's relatively versatile then just slam it if it's yeah. like an item that can be used like like dragon's claw for example dragon's claw is kind of good on poppy kind of okay on the mech but it's like not something you want to slam right away same same with with um ionic spark 
Ironic Spark, I would not make Ironic Spark. I don't think it's that good. Or at least not this early. Right? Ironic Spark is like, it's kind of like a meh item. And it's definitely better on Vi than Fiora as well. But yeah. Yeah, and now you pre-leveled. Good, good, good. So, yeah. Basically, you're level 6 anyway. So, what do you want? Okay, obvious. It's obvious what you want here. Yeah, good. You got the Jin. Now you scout. I will sell him anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you get the... Uh, it's the highest... Highest amount of gold. You're, yep. not, you're not scouting. You are scouting. Good, good, good. So there's some uh, brawlers. There's a lot of brawlers actually. Brawl Blaster, brawler. Yeah. What is a. No, oh yeah, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, you can just leave it all. Like, you can just uh, combine it on gin and sell the gin, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I mean, it, but, you know, but I'm not putting any items on yeah, the Blitz anyway, yeah. so. It's fine. Uh, so how many Brawler or Blaster players are there? I think it's three or four. How many Rebel players are there? I Zero. Yeah. Do you know how to play Rebels? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. I played it not that much, but I played a few games. I mean, you can just add, like, uh, either you can have, like, Ezreal and Shen as well, or... Kale and MF, or ideally uh, Gangplank and MF. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. So there's lots yep, of yep. options. But maybe, like, we'll see what, what kind of roles you get. But uh, Rebels are probably stronger. And I think you could be level 7 right now. If you optimize your gold a little bit, you could be level 7 right now. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, what what is this? I said could be, and you leveled to I seven. Think, I think my thought process at this point is I'm really weak. I don't have any synergies, and I just want to not bleed out. So I rather get, I rather sacrifice a bit of my eco in order to get level seven. Uh, and panicking maybe at roll roll 60. a lucky unit. Panicking at sixty is not is not. You could you could bite the bullet until until round four I think. All right. Yeah, here. I don't think it was necessary to level up, and roll, and not buy the kale. Yeah. You, you just I, said I, you're looking for a strong unit. Yeah, but I was so focused on blaster brawler. That's yeah. Wait, are you not buying the graves either? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but that was that was my mistake, most likely. So Graves, there's the Kale, which is a really good carry, especially with two Chrono, especially like with anything. Just putting in Kale is like almost never a mistake. But at at this point, I don't think that I have the items, right? The only item that would be what item? Use that. Just put in Kale. No item. Just she will do like two thousand damage without any items. Huh. All right. She has Chrono. So like she needs to attack. Yeah, she needs to attack seven times and then she'll start clearing everything. You could put a rod on her for now. Yeah, yeah. And like that's it. But like putting in just the kale when you get her, you should do that. I think you're yeah you're way too focused on on your final comp. Okay, yeah. Does this make you stronger? Maybe by a little bit. Tiny bit. Yeah, three brawler, yeah. three chrono, three blaster. That's probably the worst synergies I've seen in a while, and I like, and you, that you can get. Yeah. Cause it's like you're one off everything. Okay, yeah, Lucian gets a rod, why not? Why is no one wearing the redemption? We 
but yeah, I should have given it to J4. Well, he's gone now, I hope. J4 is gone. He's not gone? No, he's not gone. Oh my god. <laughs> he's still there, yeah. J4 to the end. Okay, yeah, sure. J4, you could have given it to him. He's still there. Okay, I think you would have won this anyway. Honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would have won this without leveling up. You don't think so? Yeah, could be. But you would be at 50. He's at 50. He's probably going to yeah. do, do better than you because he's at 50. Yeah. There we go. It's good. Yeah, you're repositioning. Cool. Yeah. See, Kale doesn't have items, like, she just has a, a rod. And I, I, I'm pretty sure you just lose to the Kale. Oh no. Since I don't remember, I look, can't tell you. Oh my god, but oh. look how much damage the Kale did. Yeah, yeah, no, it's ridiculous, you're right. And just, just uh, something I tell my students, keep the damage tab open. Or like the other, right. like not open all the time, but like open the, how much damage you receive. Alright. Yeah. It's uh, like, maybe you don't know how to use the information right now, but it's always good to get as much information as you can get. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Buy the Shen, you have a Shen, you can buy another one. So there's Brawler, okay, Void, there's there's Brawler, uh, Blaster Chrono, there's Blasters, Cybers, there's Blaster, maybe Brawler, okay. And I don't see any mech players. I don't just, either. Yeah, just to remind you. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Well, there's a rumble. There's a rumble, but there's no. a rebel player. Rebel player. Okay. Wow. Most likely, I, I'm not okay, sure. Okay, so you have. So first of all, I wait. Was there no Zaya either? So you could have gone with Zaya Shredder. Yeah. Since nobody really, really went for her. Uh, yeah. That's something you have to decide extremely early because you don't want to. Because you don't want to level up. Yeah, I know. I the. Uh, Luckily, or I don't know if it's like the the second gameplay I sent you is is Xaya Shredder comp okay. where I do really well early and then just get my ass busted. Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, Mech is Mac is available and Xaya Shredder is available and what you're playing, everyone else is playing as well, which is always bad. I think now it's too late to pivot. Yeah, I think so too. But. Yeah. Another spatula, wow. So much luck and I still lost. So you have uh sure redemption goes somewhere, anywhere, anywhere, just put it. Uh I guess Lucian, okay. Sell him? Yeah. Wow. Next level play. Yeah. Sell him and buy that. Very good. Don't roll. Why are you... Like, it's just going to piss you off when you hit something. Yeah. No way. No way. You put, <laughs> you put the red buff back on dilution. Okay. I think Illusion is a decent carry of red buff, isn't he? Ah, uh, I guess, yeah, 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 I just... Because I would have enough Jinx items. Ah, sorry, sorry. I just clicked yeah, on... Worries. Okay. What's the better play here? 
instead of instead of doing what? Um, instead of what you did, I'll I'll show you a better play. All right. Or like the same play, just at a hot wait. What what happened? Did we we skipped ahead? Yeah, we we were here. I think no. Yeah, uh, before this. Yeah. Okay. What do you want on the Lucian right now? Like in my, I, like I feel like Lucian is a strong red buff carrier. No, what what items do you want on Lucian right now? Um, probably rod red buff. What? Why? Or Elonomicon red buff. What? Why not uh, Infernal Edge, i.e. Dark Whisper, or yeah, Last Whisper and red buff. could work too I mean you have you have uh, last whisper so maybe you want IE like why yeah. why do you sell the solution that's what I'm asking like why do you sell this because because I think that if he if I get level 2 Lucian with items on him and which which I like the items on Lucian if I stack him full with items I will most likely want those items on a jinx so we'll have to sell him sooner or later anyway, so I might as well make him level 2 and give him the items that most likely won't go on the Jinx before I have to level uh, to sell a level 2 Lucian. Okay. But uh, I just feel like selling a level 2 2 cost unit is very bad. I'm not, I don't know. You lose 2 gold, it's not a big deal. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, a cool trick, like what you could do if you're keeping Lucian right now, is you put Last Whisper on him, Red Buff, and uh, IE. Yeah. Yeah, I you, know how to do that. Do you, you know how to do that? That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. Like you would put the. Yeah, yeah. You you craft. You would craft the IE on the bench and then combine. Does that work? Yeah. Um, if you have like theoretically, if you have four items. The component always gets. Thrown. Oh wow! Okay, that's okay. And I... it it will prioritize four items on over board components. items over bench items. So I would probably put the IE Lucian on the board yeah. just to be safe. Yeah, I and mean, then... I would be scared that that uh, IE would pop off rather than the rod, but yeah. No, I, it, it prioritizes from what I know. It prioritizes Complete. full items over yeah. components. Yeah. So then you make the IE, the combine them, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Lucian is not as not as good as Graves, and you you don't buy Graves that often. Like you could have yeah, bought right. more Graves. That makes sense. So you could have like you you should have been aiming. I think you missed. Oh, yeah, you have one Graves. Yeah, but just like aim to two star Graves, so that yep. the yeah the Lucian. Yeah, I mean it's just unfortunate that he got the red buff this late, but I think you still won this, right? Yeah, you did. I think so. Yes. Good. Yeah, the, the redemption was nice. It was really nice there. Cholgath. Perfect. Demolitionist. Yes, that's what you want. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just, yeah, I guess you're thinking about items. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just positioning them so I know that at the very top, those are the Jinx items because I want to put Giant Slayer, Trap Claw, Last Whisper on her. I think that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, not sure. Giant Slayer, Trap Claw, Last Whisper, yeah. But positioning when it, the board is this full is a bitch, so yeah. Now I got it. Cool. I mean, you don't need to do that, but I guess if you got nothing better to do. Uh, yeah. Why did you buy the Blitz and not the Shen? Um, because I don't lose. I mean, generally, I don't lose any eco buying either, and I probably will not let the Shen in. Like, I won't have the Shen late game. But why not get Shen level two? Yeah, because in my head, I think that selling a level two green unit is bad. I don't know. It's two gold. Which apparently, yeah, it's two yeah, gold. Apparently, it is. if the unit helps you, you like use it. Yeah. And you already have Blitz two, so like you're not going for Blitz three. Yeah. So that's definitely something to think about. Right? 
Yeah. And ah, uh, oh, you missed another Irelia as well, rolling down for three Cybers, which would make Lucian even stronger. Or the Twisted Fate for four Chrono. Yeah. I don't like, like you have too few synergies. You can either have four Chrono or three Cyber. Yeah, that's true. And I hope you sell the Jarvan at some point. I think I do eventually, yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, have you scouted what you want pulled? I don't think so. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. You have a blitz. So it's just good that you, if you scout a few guys and like, oh, that would be better if I hook this guy or that guy. Makes sense. But uh, I think most of the most of the times people putting crap units in the corners, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking if you could grab the Sona, maybe. Maybe you could grab the Sona, but I'm not entirely sure if it, that if that would work. But actually, this is perfect because the Blitz, yeah, they grab each other, so then you, you hit the Blitz. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, he I grabbed you first. Way. Yeah, he's stronger than you. And he has a Mana Printer. You could have had the Mana Printer had you got. Oh, wow, never mind. You got this. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's Cho'Gath 2. Cho'Gath 2. Very nice. So what do you want here? Uh, I think that I want... I think that I have all my Chinx items. So anything for... Since I'm, since I'm second last, I don't think I'll have that much of a choice. I think I'll There's just There's an get, armor right there. Yeah. But I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Armor. You can make a GA. No. Is GA better than Trap Law on Jinx? Honestly, I mean, theoretically it should be. But then again, with a lot of CC, I'm not sure. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. I would automatically value GA higher. But maybe Trap Law is okay. Except, except like for Velkos or except for, for another Jinx matchup or anything... Well, Jinx, you would stun the Jinx, I guess. But yeah, like, you would. Yeah, or Kale works the same. But I like the 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 way like I played like a medium amount of games with Blaster Brawlers, and yeah. for me, what worked best was QSS, just for the reason that whenever I have a Graves or something with a big AOE stun like Cho'Gath or anything like that yeah. in the enemy team, my Jinx gets completely disabled for a few seconds. Like a level one unit will disable my Jinx for four seconds. And a yeah. GA does not help me if my Jinx doesn't output any damage because her ult will take so much more time to work up eventually. And oftentimes I just don't have the time because my front line is shredded and that's okay. it. And with a GA, if my Jinx is the last standing unit, it doesn't really make a difference most of the time. On the other hand, I've seen GA turn fights, so I'm really like torn. I don't know. Uh, I, I, personally value, I personally value GA higher, but... I guess it's a personal preference. Yeah, all right. So I got gloves, which is whatever. D didn't really make sense. Should have gotten the, the belt. I see that. Uh, the, the armor. Yeah, sorry. I meant that. Yeah, yeah. What the hell happened? What, did, what the hell is this? I don't know. I think a panic level. I, I, but I'm You're at 59 HP. I, I, yeah. You're like... I, I, really, I really don't know. You're fine. You're completely fine. But I, I think that the thought process was if I if I level up, my chances of hitting a Jinx are higher. If I hit a Jinx, I have four blasters, and my composition would be, like, complete. Oh, my God. Bro, you have 41 gold. Leveling to 8 means you want to... You want, like, leveling to 8 right here says, I want a bottom, I want a bottom 8. 
That's what it tells yeah, me. I mean, this, this is what happens in the end, so that worked out. That, this is exactly what it tells me. Like It tells me, right now, right now, you're completely fine. You're chilling at 44 gold, and uh, you can just chill. You chill until 5-1, then you level to 8. You lose a little bit of HP, but you're like you're you're in the top half of the group, right? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm using my mouse again. Doesn't matter, but like, fifty nine is not so bad. Like, you're you're on par with the forty guys. There's some thirty guys and twenty guys, so you're yeah. you're relatively okay. Yeah. By leveling here, and rolling, and not getting the kale again, kale or Irelia or Echo or anything or Vi. What what is this? Okay, if you're rolling, you gotta keep more things in mind. Like, what do you want when you roll? Give me three units you want when you roll. I think Jinx, MF, probably a GP, or maybe Vi. Yes, Vi. Since she's level one. Cho'Gath would be nice as well, I think. No, but I... Cho no Cho'Gath would not be nice. Alright, why? Why? No, why wouldn't Cho'Gath be nice? Because you have Cho'Gath too. Yeah, but isn't Cho'Gath 3 an auto win? If I get him? Like, if, if I get Cho'Gath thrown at me, by a, and I roll anyway... Is anyone, I, I... is anyone else playing Cho'Gath in this lobby? I think so, yes. Definitely. You're not getting Cho'Gath 3. Yeah, right. So what you're rolling for is Vi, Graves, MF, and Jinx. Yeah, four units. Or something powerful to put in now, like a Kale. Like a Kale or like an Irelia. Irelia, you get Cyber Buff. Kale is just a strong unit. You could have a Kale 2 by now, by the way. Yeah, I know. Kale 2 with... I'm pretty sure you could get a Kai'Sa. So with like a... I don't know, IE maybe, or... Oh, you have a... Wait, you have a Trap Claw. You have a Trap Claw. You have a Rage Blade. And... If you had gotten the the armor, you'd have a GA. Those are perfect kale items. I'd, I'd even have a rage blade. Yeah. So yeah. Perfect kale items. Yeah. You're just like too inflexible right now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you have the Irelia, so a really powerful composition, which which I like, and you kind of have parts of it is. Three Cyber, four Chrono, and uh, three, Bla three Blade Master using Kale. Do you know the build? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. So you already have the Lucian and the Vi and the Irelia. You have the, the Shen, the Ezreal, and the Blitz. You got, you got the Kale. So I think the only thing you're missing is Wukong, Wukong or Thresh. And then you have like four chrono, kale, blade master, and all that good stuff. Maybe you're missing one more blade master. Sorry. Yeah, I. Yeah. But you're just focusing too hard on jinx. And there was a va. Yeah. So you're, you're missing lots of units. What's a better unit right now that you should have bought? Wukong. Definitely. Four chrono. Yeah. Again, three blaster, three chrono, or you can have four chrono. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, who are you selling for Jinx? Oh my god, yes. Yes. Never mind. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I don't know why I do things that late. But whatever. So now you're at zero gold. Yes. 
And I think now the fun begins. I think you'll be breaking your head. But because I think this is one of the games where I just will Donkey Roll to zero. Well, now you, like you've already fucked yourself. you already fucked yourself completely. But I'm a six wins. I really don't know why I did this there. Yeah, right. I was fine. Like, I do it as well, but I do it when I'm at like 20 HP, not 60. Honestly, yesterday I, I did some uh, I ga I games with, with uh, students. It was funny, but like, similar position like this, at like 10 HP, and level 7, 50 gold, we, we were debating, is it better to level up and roll the 10 gold down? Or is it better to stay at uh, at level seven? And he agreed. Yeah. And I know it's it's crazy, but it's right. You stay at seven, at ten HP, and you just hope that you don't die. Is that that sounds it? interesting? Because here, if you're at ten HP, but you have fifty gold, you can accrue some interest. You go to you go to level eight on five one. And you have some gold to roll down. So like if you die here because you have 10 HP, you get 7 or 8. If you level up like you did and you roll down, and you're at 10 HP, you're going to be 7 or 8 anyway. Like you won't be 7 or 8 here because you just have an HP lead, but I think you're going to be like probably like 6th. I'm not sure. I really don't know. So the right choice would have been to wait, right? Definitely. 4-1. Uh, five one and then definitely. Yeah, I got wrecked by that kale. Yeah, you could have had a kale too as well if you wanted her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. relatively similar items. You're keeping the cho. I don't know why, but okay. And another I mean, thing, it, it would it wouldn't give me any advantage. Yeah, now so. now it's now now it's fine, but like uh. Can you afford a Cho 3, like, at all? Like, you can't afford a Cho 3. You can't afford anything right now. Yeah, that's true. So I hope you sell him now. If you don't get gold, obviously. But, like, now it's already kind of a thrown game. Yeah. Wow, Rebel Spatula, Zephyr, QSS, all these options. You didn't sell him, that's unfortunate. And you're still rolling, great. Oh wow, you finally bought a Vi, and there you go. Um, you can you can sell units on the board as well, you know that, right? It's true, yes. What? Okay. So you made a QSS instead? Good. Uh, I just valued the item higher. So why did you not buy the MF? I think I do eventually. I'm but, not sure. Let's but see. like, did you not have enough time? Are you trying to tell me... Yeah, I think I had enough time. Are you trying to tell me that 20 seconds is not enough time to sell Jarvan, Shen, and Cho? No, it is, yeah. I mean, it. I, I, I make the same mistake in my like when I'm playing and I try to correct the mistakes. Just E, E, get rid of these two guys. You know that these two guys are the ones you want gone. So get rid of yeah. them. And you lock. Sell the Jarvan. Oh, you can't. Oh, you, you couldn't sell the Jarvan because yeah. of the item thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's why I made the QSS. Uh, yeah. And the rest of the items are just going to chill here, right? No need to make any more items. I should make items. <laughs> yeah. You just, just leave them there. It's fine. So I think now I got the MF, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, this shouldn't be happening anyway. You shouldn't have, like, these many items at 5-1 just chilling. So, like, yeah, that's why you couldn't sell everything. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, uh, bro. Sell the Lucian, sell the fucking Shan, and put in Aurelian Soul next to Jinx and Malphite. It's not that difficult. Well, yeah. Appar apparently it is. Uh, okay, I guess you're not going Demolitionist. Yeah, you're gonna use the Mana Bug? Cool, cool. Uh, oh, fuck, bro. You have a rebel spatula. Why don't you make a rebel? Maybe, maybe I do. I'm not sure. Uh, put the put the cloak on MF for the mana bug. You could have done that already, right? You know about the mana bug. No. If you combine items during combat, you you get like they count twice. So, so what would it mean? That would mean you would get 15, 15, uh, uh, whatever, 15 mana from, from the tier. If you put the cloak on during combat, you get an additional 15 mana from the chalice. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Does this work for anything or just mana? Well, nothing else has the same effect, right? It just matters. Yeah, right. So if yeah, you yeah, that's true. So if you have the tier on and you put it on another item, then uh, you get uh, Chalice. Uh, then right. you get uh, the Mana Bug. And you didn't buy the ASO. So why do you have the Shen there, which you told me you didn't want to upgrade, but he's still there? Remember? Because I think because because I think that I I didn't see the Rebel. Like I didn't see no, that. No, 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 I could I'm asking about the Shen. You like you you could have had Chen two star by now. He's on yeah. your board, and he's one star. Yeah. You locked you locked for an upgrade, which I think is irrelevant right now. That's a waste of gold. You should have sold the Cho, and you need to roll for Jinx two, and for Vi two, right. not an yeah. upgrade. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's see if I make it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you need to, like, if you put him in the corner, it'll, it'll buff uh, them better. I know, I know, yeah. I know. I know this right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, actually. Let's see. Oh, no. Apparently not. But I know, I know that uh, this is how rebels work. So again, I mean, Chalice is better than, than just a tier because you get a little bit of mana to Ezreal and because it's a little bit of magic resistance. Yeah. Yeah, this guy just obliterates me. And I think it's over. Oh my god, 1 yeah. HP. Yeah, but at this point it's basically over. I'm 20, like, I'm 20 HP behind. But like... You fucked up by leveling too early, and you're still fucking up by not putting in the Aurelian Soul. Yeah. Okay, what do you want here? I guess you go for the Shroud and the Cho. No. You have a Cho. You can have a second two-star Cho. You get the Jinx. You run around. You yeah. get the Cho. I get the Cho eventually. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's just fading. I, I don't know. Sometimes sometimes I I think I just think too long on what to get. Yeah. But I don't think it matters at this point in the game. Nine rebel, that's nice. Yeah, nine rebel is nice. Okay, okay, finally. 
You have 10 seconds. 15 seconds. Why are you not rolling for Jinx or Vi? I can't tell you. That's... Okay, yeah, that's fine, actually, because she can't. Yeah. So you should have made the Chalice, for sure, and you should have rolled for Jinx and Vi. You probably, like, you probably wouldn't get a Jinx or, or a Vi, but you should, like, there's no point ending with 13, 13 gold. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's perfect timing, by the way. So, like, yeah, that's good. The echo. Oh, wow, I thought you were going to get at least six. Wow. I'm impressed. This is impressive. So... Yeah. yeah, I think the biggest the biggest mistake was just leveling to it, without having anything to add. So. And I mean, like throughout the game. No, it's, this is like the biggest mistake. If I look at you here, you're top four. Guaranteed top four. Oh my god, fifty gold, guaranteed top four. And then I look at you twenty seconds later. Yeah, guaranteed bottom four. Do you see the difference? This this is like the yeah, biggest yeah, no, mistake. I see it. I see yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. So any any more questions before we end this part of the session? Was everything clear? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was very clear. Thank you. Yeah, you're um, welcome. No, I, 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 like I, I feel like honestly, I would have done this leveling to eight. Again, if you didn't tell me it was wrong and why it was wrong. Um, other than that, I think I saw a lot of mistakes myself. Yeah. Just by looking over it, which I haven't done yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this, this leveling up, like, in my head, it's just that since I was on a win streak and I want to keep the win streak, I try to aggressive level. But leveling and then basically having nothing to roll for is just, like, completely retarded. Yeah, okay, I'm glad you, you agree with that. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. Like, if you had stayed at 7, you would have lost a game or two, doesn't really matter, but you had a lot of gold, and then you had a, you would have you would have had a lot more gold to roll with, and you would have been fine. You would have stabilized. Um, you, had, you did some random rolling here and there. The only time you roll, and actually, actually, I just, I know I've been drilling you on this a lot, but... Uh, here, if, because you're already, this is super, or it's not super dense galaxy, but you're at level, kind of you're at level 8, let's say you're at level 8 right now, basically, right? Yeah. You're kind of at level 8. You can roll for Jinx now. You can roll for Jinx now and you have 4 Brawler, 4 Blaster. Right? It's super dense. Or no, 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 I agree, but what I have learned from others, like watching streams and stuff, is that you should not roll for a four cost unit at level seven because the chances increased in 10%, I think. Yeah. From level seven to level eight. So I think leveling up and then rolling is no. um, better. Not sure. You want to get one Jinx at level seven. All right. That's something, okay. Um, either you, you really have to wait, like, Right now with your gold, you can you can roll down to 30. You can roll down to 30, which is, uh, what is that, 13 rolls? Yeah, when, once you set the karma, that's 13 rolls. 13 rolls, and you have a 15% chance, so that's times 5, 75%. So 75% of, what did I say, 13? So you have a... You should be able to see, on average, like, uh, 13, um, 9 forecast units. If you roll, for, if you roll with, with 20, 26 gold, you'll see 9 forecast units. Right? Yeah. Yeah? One of them could be Jinx, if you want her that badly. 
that's something that's something I've been struggling with as well. But it's it's not entirely wrong to roll a little bit at seven to get at least one of your core units, like if it's a four cost unit. Okay. So if you rolled here for Jinx, and you roll down to like thirty, you hit the Jinx, you put in four brawler, four blaster, and you just kill the fuck out till you get fifty gold and enough gold to get to eight. Yeah. Yeah. So just that's like the crucial thing. Like, if you want a Jinx at level seven, like, but this is this is more uh, super dense or uh, fawn, uh, fawn related. Yeah, 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 yeah. So take advantage of the fact that you have eight units at seven, and you can play Brawler Blaster at at seven, and at eight you can add uh, another Rebel. Yeah. Makes sense. So I think I think that that's that's enough for now. So I we'll, think so too, we'll yes. end this this half of the session here. So thank you for joining me, Marcus. Thank and, you so much. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Bye for now.